Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to achieve this beautiful soft matte makeup look and also I'll be sharing with you how to transform this look from day to night in just few steps. So let's get started but before that you know the drill, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and now let's go. Here I'm using a toner as a first step and this will refresh and boost the hydration of my skin. Then I'm using a moisturizer and this again is a very hydrating and lightweight moisturizer. I'm not using any foundation today, instead I'm using the Dermaco 2% Niacinamide Hydrating BB Cream with SPF of 30, PA++, it also contains 1% of hyaluronic acid. These are free from sulfate, paraben dye, mineral oil, also it doesn't contain any fragrance to it. Now this comes with 3 different shades, 01 Ivory, 02 Nude and 03 Warm Beige. Here you can see the shade 01 ivory that suits light to fair skin tone if you are nc15 or 20 you can try this one next i have the shade 02 nude and this is going to suit fair to medium skin tone if you are nc25 to 35 or maybe 40 you can still use this one here you can see the difference between 01 and 02 01 is little towards the porcelain side and 02 has yellow undertone next i have the shade 03 warm beige and this i would say is suitable for deep to dusky skin if you are nc 42 or maybe darker than that you can try this one here you guys can clearly see there is a huge jump when it comes to the shade range but still i'm happy that at least they have a shade for a deeper dusky skin here you can clearly see the swatch side by side and spot the shade difference next moving on to the application of this product and i am in the shade 02 now this is very lightweight and hydrating on the skin i have already reviewed this product earlier as well but let me talk about it a little bit so this is formulated with niacinamide that feeds dark spots covers blemishes and imperfections for a flawless dewy finish it also contains hyaluronic acid that's going to provide some hydration to your skin so this bb cream literally provides you dual benefits of a skin skincare product as well as a makeup but the only thing is this is not waterproof so if you do sweat a lot keep this thing in mind every time you buy from Dermaco, they will link your order to a child that they help educate along with Pumi. they have empowered 10,000 students this year with their young scientist initiative don't forget to use my coupon code for extra 20% off on their website okay next moving on to the concealer and today I'm using this L'Oreal Paris infallible concealer this is waterproof this is full coverage it stays for a really long time and this is my current favorite concealer you can see that i'm using it sparingly because i need a little bit of coverage but i don't want a full coverage base and yep once done applying i'm just gonna blend everything out with the help of a beauty sponge because again beauty blender gives you the most soft flawless and natural looking base Next, I'm using a compact powder to set everything in place and this is also a matte compact. By the way guys, all of the products I'm using today, they are affordable, budget friendly and none of them are over 1000 rupees. So yeah, here I'm using a setting mist so that my base makeup looks nice and seamless. To fill in the gaps of my brows, I'm using this wet and wild eyebrow pencil and the texture is a little waxy so it keeps my brow hairs intact. And I've been using it for years, definitely a must have. For my eye makeup today, I'll be using this Miss Clear eyeshadow palette. This is such an affordable, good quality eyeshadow palette, especially for a beginner. Definitely get this one, and it has a lot of matte shades. So, first, I'm using a transition shade to define my crease, and once that is done, I'll take this beautiful dark brown shade and I'm gonna create an eyeliner very close to my lash line. It just makes such a huge difference. It looks very soft, subtle, but yet it defines your eyes. And once I'm happy with the lino, I'll just curl my lashes and apply two coats of mascara to complete the eye makeup look. To add some color to my cheeks today, I'll be using this Love Earth Multi Pot Lip Tint with Hoba Oil and Vitamin E and you can apply it on your lips, on your cheeks, on your eyelids and today I'll be using the shade Be The Change. This is such a beautiful everyday pink color and it adds a beautiful flush of color to the cheeks. These are easily blendable and it stays on your cheeks throughout the day. As these are supremely pigmented, so I'm just dabbing my beauty blender on top so that it looks nice and seamless next i'll be using a bronzer guys it's been a while i haven't used any bronzer i was just using blushes can you guys imagine and i love this bronzer because it looks beautiful on the skin as well as it adds 
it's a beautiful sheen so your skin doesn't look flat matte to line my lips today i'm using a lip liner from nyx and i really don't know this lip liner is available in india or not i don't think it is but still this is a nyx lip liner in the shade whipped caviar And once I'm done with lining my lips, I'll be using this next powder puff lippy in the shade Squad Goals. This is a very creamy lipstick, okay? It glides so smoothly. It's very comfortable on the lips. I love the color and I love how it looks on my lips. And yup, that's it. That's look number one. It looks so beautiful, soft, subtle, yet sophisticated. It looks very nice and clean, perfect for day-to-day -day use. This looks very neat. It's perfect for office or college or even if you have a daytime event, it looks very professional not over the top but definitely makes you stand out for look number two as a step one i'll be changing my lip color first and today i'll be using my all-time favorite red lip color in the shade scarlet ohara i love this one first of all this is matte it's a blue toned red so it doesn't make your teeth yellow it makes your teeth white and it suits all indian skin tone no matter what skin tone you have you can use this one and i just love how it looks on me it's the perfect red lip after ruby woo and yep this is how it looks on me Okay, as a step 2, I'll be adding a little bit of glam to my eyes and for that I'm using this one. Now, I wouldn't recommend this one because when I used it, it was a little dried up. So, you can use any highlighter, any liquid highlighter or you can use any gold or champagne eyeshadow. And that's it. That's the finished look. I hope you guys like it and find this video helpful. I love the way my makeup has turned out. All of the product details and links, everything is mentioned in the description box. So don't forget to check that out. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to know that. And if you like this video or find this video helpful, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And yeah, that's it for today's video. I will see you soon in my next one. Bye.